Hi hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to work back on the Ford Mustang and we're going to see just how much the cow leaks. Great. Stay tuned. So for those of you who are familiar with the Mustang, you have a cowl at the front and the cowl has a bucket at either side. Water will enter the cowl from the top. It should run down the cowl around the bucket because these buckets are only for air and drain out the side, down to the fender, to the ground. It's very common on Mustangs for these to rust out and basically when doing your research everyone says do not pick up a Mustang with torque box issues or a leaky cowl. And it seems I've picked up a Mustang with a leaky cowl. <sighs> Brilliant. So I've not yet tested to see if it leaks but <laughs> I've been under the dash and well basically on the passenger side where the bucket is, I can basically put my finger <laughs> through the bottom of the cowl into the actual cowl and it is literally full of, well, twigs, debris, dirt, leaves, you name it, it's all in there. The cowl is half full of rubbish and that over the years has got damp, moisture has got in there, metal, moisture, rust. So I figured today we can go out, we can try and remove all that debris. There's quite a lot. There's at least an inch or two. Get all that out, inspect the damage. It's pretty bad and decide what we're going to do from there. One option is the best option, putting your cowl in. I am an amateur welder at best. I can spot weld. That's about it. Removing a cowl is a huge, huge job. So I've had a quick look and the driver's side, it seems okay. And the cowl going from the driver's side to the passenger side seems okay. Looking in the cowl, that seems okay. It seems to be just on the passenger side. There's other ways to fix this and that is a cowl repair kit. It's kind of like two buckets that you kind of just put in place, clean the metal up, put them in and that seals the leak. To be honest, I know that is just being reactive, it is definitely not a proactive approach, and you are just putting a band-aid on. The rust can come back, it can continue to spread the cowl. Really, the real fix is to replace the entire cowl. Or you can pick up a cowl patch panel. You have to, from what I see on YouTube, you remove the fender, and you can kind of cut a hole inside the cowl, working inside the car, and on the outside of the cowl, you can put this patch panel in weld all back up my current situation i think it's not the best approach but buying that cowl repair kit where you basically get two plastic buckets and put them up on the underside that is probably the way i'm gonna go which isn't ideal but it'll work so let's go out to the mustang let's inspect the cowl remove all the debris try and get it as clean as i possibly can and then just for a laugh let's pour some water down and just see how much comes in the car. So we're back in the car and if we <laughs> have a look in here, that is not a good sign. I wonder, can we get this out? That would give us a lot more room. Okay, so that's much better and we can see a lot more i reckon we should remove the dash pad because that will let a lot more light in especially down here 
So I don't see any more screws. These are missing. I don't see any at the front. Some clips here. There's a screw there and there. Quite a lot of them guys. Gotta be it. Now, there can't be nothing else surely holding this in. There it comes. This is stuck. Ugh. Okay, so I thought these came out, but they're actually. It's actually part of the car. Don't see no rust. So that's good. Okay, so we can see much better now. There's another nest. Seems to be a common thing in this car for sure. Got a hole there. So it's higher than I thought. So the heat box has been removed. Firewall seems to be in good condition, which is good. So this seems solid. This is obviously rotted, but we can get that kit. But what concerns me is that. <laughs>
took an unexpected turn, but I guess it's an old car, so I guess you've got to take these kind of things as they come. A cowl is a lot worse than I anticipated. I thought I could use a repair kit and it'll be a temp fix and it'll stop the water from coming into the car and we can progress on with the rest of the build. So what would you guys think if I was to use the cowl repair kit and that would obviously involve putting the actual boot up inside the cowl, silicone around it, that would seal the cowl but there's lots of pinholes all over the cowl at the bottom end. What would you, how would you guys feel about me possibly filling them holes with some fiberglass filler? You pick up an aerosol rust repair kit and it comes with something like this. If you can imagine this is a cowl, you would have your rust repair attached at this end. And this end is, it's like a jet. It's got multiple slits in it, so it kind of shoots out in all directions. Possibly stick this up inside the cowl and just absolutely saturate the cowl with some rust repair. So the rust inside the cowl will be treated and the rust on the outside will be treated. Pinholes will be filled using some strong fiberglass filler. Some new gaskets, put everything back together. That would work. That would be 100% waterproof. However, I do know in 10 years time, it's probably gonna rust through, further up the cowl and cause future problems. On the other side, it will cost thousands and thousands of pounds, I believe, to pay someone to do this work. This will be very, very cheap and it would be a short term fix, but it would allow us to progress with the build. If the metal was to be completely gone, possibly, yes, replace the whole cowl. Have we been pinholes? I don't know if we can get away with it. Everything I take off this car needs to be replaced. Even the liner for the glove box is completely shot. This has cracks. I might not be able to refurb this. The motor does work, but I may have to buy a new box. It's all money. So I've got some options to consider. Do I buy the cowl repair kit, put that in, fiberglass filler around the areas which need it, rust repair, paint it, and call it done? Do I pick up the replacement patch panel that you can kind of put in there? It doesn't look that easy. It's a lot easier than the cowl, but it looks tricky. I don't know if I can get away with that. I'll get the whole cowl replaced. If that's the case, in the current situation, I will probably have to pay someone and that could cost thousands. So I've got some stuff to consider. So I'm gonna bag and tag all this stuff so I don't forget where things go because it may be some time before this ends back up in the car. And with that, we've got in this one here guys. So thank you for watching. Like always, please like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one.